Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Shamaki. So today we want to show how to live stream using mobile phones. We'll be using two mobile phones in this video to live stream from the system professionally. So we have an iPhone XR, iPhone XR, and Samsung. Samsung A33. So we're using them using an app called IUN. I R I U N. We're using these two devices to connect to our system and then we'll like to. So to get the IUN app, you go to your Play Store. If you're using an Android phone, you go to the search button and you type I R I. You automatically see it here, you select and uh, it pops up on the Play Store. I have already installed the Iron app on my phone, so automatically I'll click open. It launches. So you see, it's showing me the steps I need to follow so that my phone and uh, the Iron on the system can connect. So number one step is that the phone and the system you want to use to stream will be on the same network. As you can see, they are all on the same wireless network. So. Uh, and uh, once his phone is already connected to the same internet, you start your iron webcam on the system. So the moment your iron webcam starts, it should. You see that his system has peaked, his phone has peaked. So on iPhone also, I'm going to uh, go to App Store and then search for the iron. You can see that the iron app has already been installed. So I'll click on open. So once this is showing and they are connected to the same network, I'm just going to go to camera two. You see that the moment I go to camera two, it's already showing. Now, if you have multiple more cameras, like three and four, you can repeat the same process. Once they are connected to the same network, you can easily have this, uh, this session. All the cameras will be showing. My Arion app is turn on on the iPhone and you can see it and if you go back to camera one which is the Samsung you can also see that we're also looking at whatever we are doing so now the next is to proceed to the software we use for live streaming today we'll be using the vmix so this vmix once you have it installed you either search for it vmix and then you see it so I've already opened mine okay and what we need to do is to be able to add the uh, two phones we've already connected on Arium system app to this place. So we'll just go to you click on the add input and you go to camera so from video DVD list and camera so on camera you see the camera being ticked black that's to say that that is what you need to do now so you just click on this drop down button and you will see Arion 1. The Samsung camera is connected to Arion 1. So if I click on this Arion webcam, it does not have one. All right. So, and then the resolution is very important. You need to decide which resolution you want to select. So we're using the 1920 by 80, uh, 1080. And then we we'll just click on this number one and we'll add it. So once we add it now, you will see that the samsung phone is showing all right now we want to add the second camera you click still go back to the add input and then you click on camera again and we come to this same camera and then we this one is added on the camera too so i click on it and the resolution is also shown then this is number two i click so you see this camera is also shown Good. all right so now we have the two camera showing so this is showing as if you are pointing at where the person that is going to speak is on and this is showing crowd these three people are assumed to be crowd right now if we switch any of this okay all right so if we switch this you see that anyone will switch it's showing here so this is the live feed and this is the preview now for a live streaming 
you need to have other associates to make you professional. So to do that, we can use two systems, but for this, we'll use only one setup. So I'm still going to go to add input and add some elements. And I have some element design, so I'm going to go to image, and I'm going to go to browse. Then I'm going to go into where I have them saved. So I have some of these templates here, more like template to support the name of who is speaking and what kind of program that is going on. So I'm going to add a few of them here. Okay, so I have this. We have these three. This is more like the name of the program, and this is the name of who will be speaking. This is more like the name of whoever is speaking. So we we'll first need to adjust them by going to settings. You click on the settings of the one you want to use. So I want to, so not stream, settings. Okay, these settings here. And then. Once you are at the settings, you. Once I reset it, you now use this Y. This Y is moving horizontal and vertical. So you just drop it down and leave a little space for it to fit in well. So you do the same thing here. This is for one setup. If you have another system or a video mixer, you can send them from there. So. So I've got everything that I need set up, all right? Now we have our speaker, which is up, and we have our crowd, which is here. So let's, we want to live stream now. You know, you'll be switching between one camera to the other. So first, when we are starting, we have to start with the name of the program. So you use one, two, or three for the name to appear. So the next thing you want to do for live streaming is to go to this stream, right? Then click on the stream. Sorry, click on the settings on the stream. Now these settings will bring you up here to have your settings. So you leave it at default and leave it at custom. Then here you place the URL you get from YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, any of the uh, social media you want to send your feed to. So the URL will, will get it from your YouTube or your Facebook. So let me get a URL. So once you go to live, you're going to have the link displayed for you. So those URL, those things you copy to the software. But most of the times, if you are using an organization soft this thing, they may only send link and this thing for you, which you will use. So you may not really need this, but if you are doing this for yourself, then you need to have uh, this whole thing. Now we want to set up, so I'm just going to save this without anything. So streaming settings, we have this, uh, this streaming key which will copy this streaming key and we're going to take it to the software so the streaming key will be placed here then we go back you copy the url you paste it here now these are the two things we need to go live the url and the key so this can be provided and sent to you you just need to do that and then wherever the server is 
they can only click on live and then whatever you're sending will go live to youtube anywhere it is so if you have other social media you want to go live on you still do the same thing two three and all of that so you change it to custom change it to custom but we don't have any other one wants to only go on youtube so we'll leave it on none now the next thing you want to do is go back to one and you will look at your settings if your quality the video quality setting is because what you are setting here now will determine the kind of mb that you will consume so if you want to stream it at 780 720 or at 1000p fine anyone you choose that is how much of mb will be going per second all right so like six mb per second will be going but whatever you decide to use no problem this is 1.5 mb so once you've agreed with this one you click on save and close all right you've saved and close it samuel face the camera now we are ready to go live but if i click on live this will not go live because when you go to the youtube you won't see the video so first thing you need to do for it to be going to go live you have to check the external because the external means it's giving permission for anything to leave the vmix and go live so you first turn on the external once you have turned on the external then you click on stream so once you click on stream you will see that this is now streaming but you have to go to youtube and you see that streaming has started so whatever is showing on that vmix platform is showing right now so this is how zoom the camera closer this is how you can go live and then anything you now change from the vmix if i change to this feed it will turn that side if i remove this let's say he is now talking he's now talking and i want to put him i'll just click on quick play then uh, this his name is this person so i'll now put it he's talking if you go back to youtube you see there's a delay but if you put it on live now you see that whatever is showing on the vmix is showing here so this is how you can easily go live professionally using phone so you can see everything that is showing on that vmix is showing live on youtube so we are currently live now so i believe this will help you and your organization to put things to perspective and help you run whatever event you want to run with mobile phone not necessarily a camera but the camera will give you a better output as to the lagging you have and all of that but you can use the uh, a phone device to go live so thank you for